for Utah's most accurate forecast with Caesar Cornejo, weather rate certified 10 years in a row. All right, with a change in the weather coming up, let's head over for a look at the forecast. Hi, Caesar. Are we going to get this air cleaned up sooner than later? We are. We're expecting to see that this air quality will improve, but this morning, oof, it was not great. A beautiful sunrise as Scott Taylor took this one here, South Salt Lake. Beautiful but right in the valleys. Look at that. Just all of that crummy air still hanging around. And we take when we take a live look here outside the so those here at Salt Lake City downtown camera, beautiful sunset. I'll step out the way real quickly just so we can all see this. But again, that inversion really hangs around. The sky is on fire. The air, unfortunately, is smoky from pollution. Not that beautiful sunset. Continue to see that. We'll have that clearing inversion throughout the day tomorrow because of that one storm system and the winds picking up and then we'll even see some heavy snow possible for parts of the higher elevations and I'll explain more in just a moment. Continue to see temperatures hanging around those 30s for us and even some 40s in parts of central and southern Utah. So overall a mild kind of day for the second day of winter and we continue to see that we have that cloud cover really hanging around thanks to this dropping high pressure system, meaning we're going to get moisture moving in. We're going to see it as rain and snow, and that's going to be the reason why we have these winter weather alerts. We can already see that we have that winter storm warning in, in excuse me, it placed for parts of northern Utah, also northeast Utah, some winter weather advisories for parts of the east, excuse me, western you went to Basin, also central and southern Utah for the higher elevations and eastern Nevada as well. They'll start Thursday and continue until about Friday evening and some linger into Saturday morning. Looking at the timeline of this wet weather, well, we'll see a little initial boost of rain starting off parts of the overnight hours for Thursday. Then that cold front starts to really drag in that moisture, bring in some heavy rain at times and even some snow. And look at that. We can really see that rain accumulate for us in southern Utah. We'll see that it lingers throughout parts of Friday as well and even going into Saturday. So that's definitely going to mean that we have quite the messy holiday weekend. Regional forecast, we're expecting to see that we have temperatures hanging around the 30s and even some 40s as we go into our highs tomorrow, some 50s as well in St. George. And that's where we'll see our temperatures hanging around the 50s for the next few days as well as that storm system brings in some wet weather, breezy conditions and then by Monday, we'll start to see some cooler air moving in with the possibility of some wet snowflakes for the higher elevations. Looking at the Wasatch Front, we'll see our rain become into snow going into Friday. It'll teeter between rain and snow as well as we get into the afternoon hours. Looking at Saturday, evening snow chances lingering into Sunday and even Monday with much colder air by the middle of next week. Over to the desk.